Forged here, back with some Warhammer 40k Death Watch. Let's have a look at the kill team, see how they are doing. So what happened? Oh yeah, Ortho just short of getting his freaking field medic. That's so annoying. And uh, yeah, so basically we we'll want to replace Magnus at some point with a veteran or better, hopefully a champion straight in there. Although Magnus is awesome, and hopefully it's an ultramarine uh, tactical who can use this awesome plasma gun, Gwilliman's Fury. Otherwise, that thing is going to go to waste, I guess. Because Ortho can't use it. So Valerius got his uh, what was it? Refractor field. That's it. And next, we're going to start. Saving up for his. What are we going to go for? Maybe Whirlwind? That's 8,000 XP. What one's cheap? Brawler? Yeah, I guess Brawler. And then Melee Specialization. Both nice and cheap. Should be able to get them within a few missions, I guess. Gellion, what are you up to? You've got a classic default bolter. Only 80%, 18% on your accuracy. And, uh, oh, he's got, what's he got? He's got some super crack grenades. So what did we want to get on this guy next? An extra, we might pop up his accuracy right now, right now, in fact. Caliban's memory is pretty good. He can get free fire, which is awesome, for 4,500. Plasma specialization. Unfortunately, we don't have a plasma gun. I'm going to bump up his accuracy to the 20. Only 700 XP, and then we're going to save up for free fire. He really wants a plasma gun, that guy. Who else is there knocking around? That's it. Netzark has got his super fancy melter gun, the fire scream. Pretty damn cool. And what is this? Oh, yeah, retribution and melter specialization. Specialization, even. And what is he using? Right of an unceasing service. When the heck did I get this thing? He's using a litany of hate, which gives that big crit bonus. What the hell is this thing? Only be equipped by a blood angel. Passive unit takes 5% damage every turn, but heals for 20% with every kill. Hmm. I must have got this from the last mission then. I did not even remember this. Right of unceasing service. Do we give it to him? Because this massive crit bonus is pretty damn useful. Plus 50% crit. This is cool, but he's not exactly getting into a whole lot of trouble, I don't think. It would be nice to give it to him at some point. Or maybe if we get a assault blood angel or something. What do we want for this guy then? Revenge of Sanguinius, clean enemy, 20% chance to return AP. That's pretty good. Black Rage, we don't really want. Adrenaline Rush, that's what we wanted. 6,000 XP, because it's 12,000 to get your next war gear so slot. So, screw that. We are going to jump into the next mission already. From the Fire. The last mission of a... What are they called? Chapters? Acts. So, it might have something new. I've seen Hive Tyrants and Genie Stillers and Carnifexes and I think something else mentioned in the loading screen tips, none of which I've seen. The base is on the verge of exploding, but the area is seething with tyrannies. The kill team must avoid the explosions and evacuate, so it's a runaway kind of thing. Here's our team, and I'll see you in the mission since the loading screen can cause my recording software to freeze up, which is fun. Promethean has ignited and the base is burning. Detonation is imminent. The gunships cannot get any closer. Get to the new extraction site. Slay anything that stands in your way. I will. Lots of big lumps of rock for scary tyrannies to hide behind. I notice. How do you play this game again? WSD, there we go. And the mouse does not cooperate with it. So... Dead end over there. What is this red thing all about? Is that just supposed to be paint? What's going on here? It's flashing. What does it mean? Want me to go there? Or want me to avoid it? Oh. 
I guess I guess something bad is gonna happen there because it said it's like burning and stuff, right? That's where I'm meant to go, though. Let's just let's just book it. But Eris, you're taking point with your fancy new refractor field. Now I'm just gonna move you up. A patient player would hide in behind cover. Where's his injured? Uh, who do we want at the front? We want Net Zark up there with his super crazy melter. Look what his buffs he's got down there with his passives. Ortho, who doesn't achieve a whole lot right now. When he gets a field medic, field medic he's going to be so freaking useful. Gellion with your default bolt to move up and Magnus just tuck right in there. And we will see what we will see. I guess they're going to spawn from this northern edge up here. And there might be some hiding behind all those cover items. And he's moving. I guess they're already in the level then. Or they spawned somewhere I can't see on the edge. What is this? You can tell me what this is, are you? Okay, that's blowing up out of that vent. So stay away from those things. Oh, it's not a vent. It's just random explosions. At least it tells you where they are. And is, are they going to move around as the turns go? Guess not. Keep moving up, old Valerius. We can get behind this searchlight thing, which I imagine is a cover item. Or a shot blocker, I should say. There's no real cover mechanic, is there? Magnus, move up. Get these guys moving. Netzark, I assume they're safe, even if they're only one square away from the danger zone which was a song from the 80s nothing to do with space marines though come on Terran just show yourself I'm gonna shoot some stuff Hormagorn Termigan Warrior Warrior Hormagorn you guys are dead quite frankly yeah, you can explode. So I'm guessing the Tyrion is going to be hurt by those things. I wonder if they're aware of them. If the AI knows to dodge them. Only these two are exploding. Oh no, they're all exploding. Okay. Guess don't end your turn in those things. Okay. So we got approaches from the north. Can Netzark hit? Yes, he can. He's going to go after this warrior. What is this thing again? I don't freaking know, do I? Oh, that must... Yeah, that's the uh, Litany of Hate or whatever it is. Boom! Critical hit there. And we actually want to get some XP for Gellion. Takes out the Termigant. Pretty nice. Now you can move up. And... Overwatch. Magnus is going to Overwatch straight away. Because more stuff might come from this southern area. So, Valerius, you're going to move up to here behind this rock. Ortho, you move up to this shot blocker and overwatch upwards. Netzark, you're going to also move up. I don't think they can get close enough to shoot me in one turn, I don't think. You can't overwatch with one AP, Valeris, so we go. Oh, we're going to see something new in this last mission of this act. Oh, you're going to get blown up next turn, Mr. Warrior. And so are you, idiots. Haha. <laughs> I hear something else. More warriors. And little fellas. And that's that. What are you telling me now? Oh, you're doing this thing. Does it damage them? It does. Oh, wiped out those two. Do I get XP for that? Guess not. Maybe I did. Can't control the camera when it does that. Okay. Nobody spawned from there. We want... Can Netzark reach? He can with this awesome... What is it? Six range? Melter? Whatever. I'll take it. Missed. 
Oh, come on. Missed again. Finally. That sucked. Uh, Valeris can't really get close enough to melee them, so I don't think it's worth him running up here. Netzark is kind of out in the open. Magnus, you can move. No, none of you can really move into a good place. Hold on. That did move. That definitely did move. So we're going to go this way. That, I'm talking about this uh, danger zone. I'm going to keep calling it the danger zone now. That was where these guys are before. But as long as you don't end your turn in it, you're alright. So which way are these guys going to come? If they come from the north, Mr. Valerius is going to be waiting with his master crafted bolty pistol. There we go. Is that what he's got? Did I give it to him? Yeah, I think I did. And Netzark, you stupid inaccurate fool. You're going to move over there. And we end turn. Wait for the pre explosions. Oh no, he's still got a hand flamer. I wanted to take that off him, I think. And give him the muscle crafty bolter, but I guess I didn't. Oh, Pyrovore. I thought I gave it to him. Weird. I don't remember getting that weird purity seal that I got either. Don't hit me, damn you. Ormagon, Termagon, is that all you got? Yeah, 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 can I skip these animations? Guess not. Okay, well done. Exploded nothing. Gellion, you can shoot this guy. I guess you can take it out with a few volleys, maybe. Yay. And then just move up. Valerius ate a shot for absolutely no reason. It was stupid of me to put him there. And I don't want Ortho moving up. Magnus can scoot up to here. Can't go on Overwatch afterwards, but oh well. And we'll just keep peeking around this rock, I guess. The fire danger area moved somewhere else entirely. Moved in a pretty good place for me, actually. Ortho, move up as far as you can. I guess go on Overwatch for the hell of it, just in case someone dies or something. But uh, couldn't do a whole lot that turn without exposing myself to potentially a whole lot of stuff. More stuff coming in, I think. Big stuff. Warriors, at least. Maybe Pyrovores. That's certainly a warrior. Okay. Let's get some kills. Okay, yes. Explode the things. Well done. Um... Netzark. Can you not get that shot? I guess you're blocked by him. Oh, warrior. Oh, come on, don't miss. And one more. There we go. Gets a crit on the last shot. Of course he does. Moron. Magnus, we might... Can you shoot that warrior from here? You can. So you're going to get your plasma... Although this is going to block off anyone trying to get to this termagant, which is going to be annoying. Really annoying, in fact. As he take it one further, so that Ortho can take out the termagant. Okay, let's try it. Super plasma shot thing. Don't let me down, Magnus. He hit it, but not quite enough to one shot that guy. We'll see what Ortho can do. What's he got here? He's got Frag. Which is pretty good. Can he finish off this warrior? Do I risk the 
overcharge? Or do I just send Valer Valeris in? Can he get there and attack? I hear something screeching over here. That's that warrior. Um, one, two, three. He could get a swing in. Leave him open to Hormigant and Termigant fire and whatever else comes in. So that is pretty damn risky. So we're actually going to keep Valeris safe for now. Ortho! Come on, I want you to take this warrior out. You can do it. You've got two AP. Let's do this. Well done. So you do it, Netzark. You see, you've been very inaccurate in this mission so far. Uh-oh. Moved a bit too far and revealed a Hormogon. And I think that was another Hormogon there. So that's our turn. We're going to take some shots from that Termigan. Four shots. In fact, he's probably going to hit two of them. Missed. Missed. Thankfully, he's hitting someone who's not been hit yet. There we go. Spread that damage around. Warrior getting close. Oh, it's a good place to have Whirlwind or something. Oh, the frag might be good there as well. Which Ortho has. Here's something. Oh, the warrior moved away. Clever bastard. One more going to get an attack in. Frame rate hitching up there. I thought this game was going to crash or something. Here, lots of stuff moving around and screeching. Okay, this thing again. I guess if I don't have line of sight to the exploding stuff. I won't know if anyone gets hit by it. Okay. Do we try this frag right here? Can I target ground with it? Oh, I don't think you can. Damn it. Okay. Magnus. It might be time for you to free fire. You're going to move first though. Or are you? No, it doesn't cost anything, does it? Do your free fire. Okay, took out those two. And Valerius can't get around to shoot, but Magnus can do this. And miss. Beautiful. Um Ortho get there. Putting him in harm's way a bit. Do I see anything else? No. So Valerius is gonna get up and Take a swing. Ortho get a shot first. And another, I guess. You might as well. Can't go on Overwatch. And then Valeris is going to... Oh, he needs to move first. And then he's got two swings to take this guy down. Smack! Only needed one. And now he can duck back in. Because I think there's some more stuff to that left side over there. Okay, Gellion. Unfortunately, you don't have free fire. But you can work them down like that. Freaking Pyrovore. Couldn't finish it off. Netzark. Can you get in close enough? Yes, you can. For one shot. Now, can he hit this? He's got like 70% accuracy now, I think. And he gets it. And it was a crit too. But that is all danger zone. I need, that needs to change, please. This is another Pyrovore. Hmm. Do we wait for it to change or just move? I guess we could just wait. Farm some XP off these Tyranids. The Termigan. Hormagorn. Another Termigan. Something bigger as well. Here comes the Pyrovore. Yay, you're right into the danger zone. Well done. There is taking shots. Come on, Refractor Field. Uh, you can't really tell if if it's the refractor field causing the mist. There's no visual effect or anything, which is pretty annoying. My turn. So pyrovore, does it take damage from a fire though? We'll see. Didn't quite hit that guy, little bastard. Valeris is gonna turn around and hit him. Yes, took full forty damage. Okay. 
Valerius. One hit, one kill, please. Or oh, just miss. And there's a freaking counter. He missed it. There we go. And now use your hand flamer. Do some work. There we go. Ortho, you can frag. There we go. Guarantee a kill. And did that. I guess that takes no AP. Then you can go watch. Magnus. You can't hit anything. Gellion get some XP off this Pyrovore. I guess Netzark can finish it off maybe. There we go. Hormagaunt moving up. Both of these guys can go overwatch though. But I guess we should creep forward as far as we can. We're meant to be going this way eventually. Some of that. Good old Magnus can stand here and go overwatch. Up in this direction. That's all he can see apparently. And we end our turn. That Hormagaunt's going to die if he comes close. There's another little fella. Oh, there's a warrior. Oh, he didn't get in line of sight of Magnus. That sucks. Ortho getting his hits. Nicely done. There's a little Hormagaunt. That warrior is really low. There's another one though. A couple more little fellas. Still waiting for this freaking danger zone to change. Netzark misses again. To get his accuracy up again, I think. That super duper fancy melter gun is not very accurate. Hits like a truck, though. More warriors. At a termigant. Okay. I don't think anything is in the danger zones. When are they going to change? Not being paying attention to. How many turns it takes them to change? Oh, they're both going to die. <laughs> I didn't get XP for it though, damn it. There we go, it changed. Look at this. Danger zone on the extraction point. That's not very fair. Okay. Ortho, get some XP. Hang on. Can he reach anyone? Can. Then... You just use the rest of your XP to run. Ortho can't actually hit anything. So you can flee as well. Come on. There we go. And Magnus can cover the rear approach. Like that. Gellion. And Netzark can creep forward. Meets a warrior. Gets a crit and takes it down. Creep forward again. Gellion, move up as far as you can. And, oh, there's another warrior there. So, these guys are vulnerable to that guy. But he's going to be hit by the... Oh, he can move before that goes off. In turn, before this camera makes you scream. You've got to die. That guy's taken so many shots. Did he heal up? What the heck? Uh oh, Magnus. Taking some fire here. Ah, and he got hit, so he came off of Overwatch. That one hit. That one hit as well. That one hit as well. This is why you need to have Field Medic Ortho. Oh, he ran off. And they're sensing weakness on Magnus there. They're trying to go after him. I guess I need to cover that rear with two marines, not just one. Or, well, hopefully Magnus didn't overheat there. Maybe the warrior just recognized the danger zone and wanted to get out of there. Not sure. Okay. Magnus is overheated. Crap. Um... I guess we just scoot Ortho up one. Move. Oh, we can't move Magnus back through there. Do some of this. And then Magnus can just run. Don't 
Don't like that warrior. Get some XP, Valerius. Take it out. Okay. Ortho can finish it. You get the XP. Oh, the lion's share. And then we're actually going to move up. All the way. So I don't think he can move far enough and get a shot in. Gellion, creep forward. Should be creeping forward with a Netzark really since he's got that crazy melter. Okay. Where are you, warrior? I know you're somewhere around here. Okay, Gellion's going to move up here and go overwatch. Still got that crack. Netzark can also overwatch. Screw it. There we go. Got pretty good range on the fire screen. It's awesome. End turn. Only gets one shot. Hit a few of those. That wasn't too bad. Boom. We hit it at least. I'll take it. Wasn't the crit we we're looking for. That one hit someone. How many freaking warriors are there? I think I hit Ortho. I guess if I get any extraction zone, the, the the mission just ends, so it doesn't matter if that danger zone is there. My turn now? There we go. Okay. Warrior is there. Took 40 damage. And you're going to take 40 damage too. Is that going to kill him? Almost. Some more XP for Netzark, I think. Yes. And some more XP. And some more XP. Damn it! Screw you. Take that guy out, and then just move up, Kelly, and you're in. Uh oh. Another fella here. Just a little termigant, though. He's alright. Magnus, now that you're no longer over here, you just move up as far as you can. Termigant's not going to take you down, right? He says with confidence. Let's move everyone up at this point. Get the hell out of here. Get my. Field medic. Yeah, Magnus gonna take a bunch of shots, but it'll be all right. Definitely gonna kill you though before I leave. And you, unless you shoot and run away. Another warrior coming in. Gillian taking shots. I'm taking a shot. You actually gonna do anything, warrior? Yeah, you didn't do anything. Moron. Okay. Something got hit. That was it. That's all you're showing me. Okay. Netzark. Misses. Come on. You can do this. Or not, Gillian. Freaking hell. Uh, Magnus. Probably shouldn't have done that because he can't move into the extraction point now. Netzark could go overwatch like this, which will be useful for them warriors that show up. Valerius, you're going to move here. And, oh, you can't hand flame with that guy. Really? I can't see him. Fine then, just do this. And Gellion, overwatch up there. Ortho just moved into the extraction. Can't believe Net's up. Missed two shots like a moron. 
Damn you. You hit that one. Didn't I put Gellion? Oh, he lost his overwatch when he got hit. Magnus taking some fire here. Ouch. Another freaking Termigant. That was pretty cool. Holy crap, two warriors behind us. Is my frag grenade off cooldown? Is free fire off cooldown? That could be nasty. That was good. Weaken those guys. Okay, so I want to get out this turn. But obviously I want to take a bunch of stuff down before I leave for XP. For juicy XP. Okay, so Valeris is already on one of the extraction points so I can spend all of his AP shooting stuff like this warrior for example really thought I replaced that freaking hand flamer um, oh frag is off cooldown but I guess I can't hit those guys that sucks move up one move up two since it doesn't take any AP to throw this. Right. Boom. You live? What the heck? No, do not move. Ortho. Uh, I guess we'll finish it off with Netzark. You only need two to get the Magnus. Oh, we can use free fire. Let's do that. Let's do that. It's free. There we go. Net Zark. Oh, he can shoot this guy. Yay. Oh no. I think Gellion could have shot this guy. We'll try and take him out. Come on, can you take him down? There we go. Got one more AP to move back in. And Magnus, you've got no one to shoot, son. Oh, you're overheated, anyway. There we go. Got a whole bunch of XP from that mission. Magnus has over 5,000 banked. Ortho has almost 10,000 banked. We have to get some stuff, definitely. What do I get for it? Some frag grenades. Not super frag grenades, though. Huh. 75 damage. What do the other ones have? I guess we'll see. Oh, I've got a pack because it was an act. Alrighty, then. Have a look at the difference between a frag grenade and a super frag. Oh, look at that super frag does 320 damage. Holy crap. And what is it to adjacent? 65 damage. 65% damage. Okay, so those were good drops then that I got there. I thought they were just regular frag grenades with a weird name. Let's get our pack of stuff. Give me a champion. No, I've got one of those already. Oh. A veteran ultramarine tactical. This is what we. Oh, a medical pack. What? That's nuts. Okay. Free fire and crack shot, covering fire, sentry, and Krypton shot. So he can take the plasma gun, I guess, off Magnus. We have to retire Magnus. Medipack, a 40% a 40% heal. Give that to Ortho. And we're healing all over the gaff. Okay, we wanna sell those two crummy frags we got though, I think. Yeah. Sell both of these. 
We have a super frag. Up to 74. Hmm. I think we can sell enough to get some up. What's this guy's name? What the heck is this? Mark Tliessen. Okay then. You're going to get... Oh look at him. He looks cool. So he's got free fire on 4,500 XP. He's only got 12% accuracy at level 1. Is it worth it? I mean he's only a veteran. He is not a champ. And he's going to start so low compared to Magnus. He can get some cool stuff though. Covering fire. Sentry is awesome. I don't think it's worth replacing Magnus with a veteran, to be honest. Do we get more a uh, whatever it's called if we retire this guy? No. Hmm. I don't think veteran is good enough at this point. I'm gonna reassign you, Mark Liasson. What kind of name is that? And then we're gonna s oh, let's level up our fellas first. Can you get somewhat good? 5,000 XP. You can't get Revenge of Sanguinius. You can't get your Adrenaline Rush. You're so close to it, but I kind of want to give him some more accuracy because he is struggling with this. It's a 70%, but he's struggling with it. It's a lot to spend, though, when he could get that Adrenaline Rush. I think we'll save for the that's what it's called right yep we'll save for it we'll save it we'll save it ortho get your field medic finally purchase and I guess we can give you that medipack too so you've lost your frag grenade but you are now super super healy dude and um what else do we do we want anything else on this guy or do we just want to buff up his basic stats now Adrenaline Rush might be useful. Medicaid. Heal for 5% for each that heals himself. Born Leader. Plus 1 AP for every 2 adjacent Space Marines. That's pretty tough to do. Gain plus 5%. Yeah, that's good to get. But um, I think we're just going to up his health here, maybe. Hmm. Now we'll get... We'll save for... Battle Brother, because, well, I assume it uh, takes into account himself, but I guess we'll see. Magnus, you're a regular Marine, but you're a beast. What is this now? Covering fire. 30% chance that attacks cost zero AP on Overwatch. Sure, let's get it. He's got it. Level 11, Magnus. Valeris, can you get something cool? You get some more stats. Might want to get some more health, but I wanted one of these things. Yeah, melee specializ specialization is only 3,000, so we'll get that. Netzark, now we're waiting for your Adrenal Rush, is that it? Gellion, can you get some up? Can you get Free Fire yet? You cannot. You've already got the 20% accuracy that I want. And you don't have a plasma gun to use. So can we raise 20 Imperial Inquisition things? Surely, we, oh, we want to give Valerius that muscle coffee bolt pistol before I forget. There we go. There we go. I really thought I did that. But I guess not. So what can we sell? I'm keeping that missile launcher because we might get a awesome champion devastator or something. We are going to keep that power sword, you never know. We are going to keep our super frag. We're going to keep the ore specs, I guess. The hand flamer can go. Sell that. We'll sell this bolter. Nobody's using. Is that all we've got to sell? We've got a power axe here. 
that can be sold. Um, line grenades sound useful, but we need to raise eight. Need to sell two things. Right of unceasing service. Can't sell this thing. Can only equipped by a blood angel. Would that be good for Valerius? Freaking risky. Really risky. Uh, let's sell the ore specs because we've got that other thing that is just straight up better, I think, from what I can tell. So we need to sell one more thing. Blind grenade. Possibility or the Mastercrafted Melter Gun, I guess, can go. Get rid of that. Okay, let's buy a pack. Gimme's okay, something awesome. Right of the Forge. Plus 15% to Melter. I think he has that already, Netzark. A veteran space wolf. Does it tell me his name here? It doesn't tell me his name here. Hmm. And it. Whoa! I think we found something for Valerius. That is massive damage. Two AP cost to use it though. And a 50% chance to retaliate. We are definitely going to use it on good old Valerius. Awesome. Where are you? There you go. Equip. Booyah. There's a hell of a lot of damage there. And with melee specialization too. It's going to be awesome. Alrighty then. I'm ready for some carnifexes. I thought we were maybe going to, we were going to see one there at the, at the end of the act, but I guess not. Nothing else. I really want to replace this freaking bolter on this guy. How can I not have found a single better bolter than that? Uh, what was that guy's name? Helig Felsite. Looking pretty cool. But um, I don't think we want to replace Magnus with his awesome plasma gun. Charge, that's a cool ability. Anyway, we'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.